He's, uh, I mean, being positive on Tweak, obviously, like, not a lot of people can say that. So, yeah, yeah. Goblin doing a really good job. And he's taken a lot of other names as well, right? So, Goblin just been on the come up with Roy. Definitely the best solo Roy main out there to do it. And just really showing that this character is still a threat. Not a lot of people put him in, like, that top 10 area. But, man, Roy is just that explosive. Get jabbed the back here at 60 and you die. Or, you know, yeah, yeah. You, know like, you can just, that, that side B is, like, Limit cross slash practically yeah, by the edge. Like and everyone's like, everyone's actually complaining about the jab side or back here now, which is kind of crazy. I mean, there's, there's it's definitely a, a, a easy confirm for uh, Roy, but still he has to get the damage to get you over there in the first place. So Roy uh, definitely has some shortcomings too. You know, having a sword that does not work uh, properly as a sword can sometimes be a hindrance. Uh, saying that if you get the, the tipper, that sword is actually not good. You want to throw your whole arm into it. Uh, but we'll see how this plays out. He's playing against another somewhat of a short range of character sometimes. Uh, uh, in Joker until that arson shows up. So. Oh, yeah. The range buff is real. And AIM oh. is definitely one of the uh, ranked players from Japan. I believe he's like around the top 20 rank. So he's really, really good. Mm. Okay, here we go. You see him already trying to get that down here uh, popping off. However, I oh, mean, 98%. Goblin looking pretty good. And he's also playing a little more defense. Oh, good, good fade back. He's playing a little more defensively as he's trying to get rid of uh, this arson first. Arsene is going to be gone. Not going to get that uh, that Leo efficiency of the Arsene of getting like that back air right with the one pixel left. Yeah, yeah. Leo's so damn good at that. Yeah, end. yeah. And that's the thing. When you get a really early lead on a, any Joker and their Arsene is more so just used to get damage, that, you know what I mean? Like, that, you get so much value out of that, right? Yeah. You, you really just get rewarded for that. Goblin doing Ooh. that, but that Wait a minute. has a jump. That was actually really – I didn't know he saved his jump. Very smart from Goblin to save his jump. Still making it back to stage. Getting some damage on the way, too. I mean, every, like, all this little damage, all this little poke is really important because if you can pop the Arsene yeah, yeah. before he, he dies, that's really big. Yeah. So just like that, man, you can see, uh, you know, Goblin trying to extend this lead a little more. He's got the 32% on the e uh, e Is it aim? aim? Is that you yeah. say? Oh, aim. Aim's okay, word. So aim. And then 32%. Uh, he got the 32%. Obviously, he's getting really close to getting his arson as well. So he's not the look out for that. The arson is on deck. Caught the rolling as well. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to F-smash him. I, I straight up thought he was going to just F-smash him as he got back to stage. But unfortunately, gets uh, takes the back throw, and he is out of there. I like the fact that he waited on the platform, too, to get a little bit of that arson time down. Oh, big damage. If you guys F-smash is crazy, when Roy gets the F-smash and it's the blunt hit, yeah. oh, man. He, he would have been for sure dead, especially by the edge. The jab back air, barely not enough. If he was closer to the edge of the stage, it would have got it. But For sure. Oh. Uh, gets it again, though. There it is. Uh, the count, the parry into the jab back air. Easy confirm uh, for Goblin. Yeah. And now he, one stock away from taking uh, Eames' first game. And Wade V singles, by the way. This is We're still in pools. Yes, so, like, yes. we're, we're in two out of three territory. People are really dropping like flies now. I know that uh, Conga already, had already dropped to Larry, and then Larry just dropped to James, or Rivers. So, yeah, yeah it's a... Uh, you know, it's, it's a slaughterhouse right now. It's tough. I mean, it's crazy because you it's it's such a treat to see these Japanese players come out to U.S. tournaments. It doesn't happen often. And when it when they do, you can't really – it's very hard to seed them, right? Yeah. Because, you know, they don't have – especially if it's their first time. Yeah. So, and, like, we got players like Ken out here for the first time. Man, another sour spot. Yeah, he's getting unlucky with these. But, I mean, it's still damaged. So, if he gets another jab back here, that he, uh, you know, should be able to take it. Might even be able to get jab up here like he got on that first stock. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's looking pretty hard for it. So, all the down tilt come out, the falling up air. And at this point, Goblin should just be able to close it out here. Unless AIM gets some kind of clutch edge guard, he, he, he needs something. Yeah. 136. Got him back off stage, man. Goblin playing it pretty safe. AIM, though. See him getting off the uh, the ledge very very aggressively. However, still up. I, I think the up throw might be able to take it now. Yeah, especially with the rage Goblin has. Oh, it oh. doesn't matter, though. The up air will definitely take it. Yeah, I was like, you know, he had 122 rage. He's at 150. Joker's not really that heavy of a character. I feel like he, yeah, he might have been able to kill him up throw. But still wanted to play it safe. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah. Just get the ledge trap right and just yeah. constantly. And that was the thing about Goblin. He didn't really overextend it. I feel like that's when uh, Roy's can really, you know, kind of mess themselves up because they, they overextend. They really want the stock. And then they just put themselves in a really bad position. And Roy's a character where, you know, you just flip a switch, get the double jump off stage, and you can just die sub 50 easily. Yeah. You get that, you know, the comeback on you. But really good stuff to Goblin. He's very, very experienced. And just constantly put him, put aim in a bad position and finally pull the trigger when he was in that jump. Back. Yeah. So now let's see what happens here into our second game. Ooh, aim. Oh, okay. Right. That was actually uh, yeah, really nice. Got some great damage. He's still adding up the damage because of the side B. So. And it, it's, it's got that touch of swag, too, you know? Yeah. When you snap on him just to finish the, the, the cherry on top. Very nice. Very great. Uh, very good start off for A. Maybe expecting a roll there. Probably a, a back air out of, uh, out of, you know, out of hit stun, and he just uh, buffered it wrong. But regardless, you know, very good start off he had. But now uh, Goblin's starting to whittle his way back into this game. 
Yeah, and, and now at least AIM has the damage on the Goblin, so when the Arsene does pop, which is right now, he can, you know, possibly get this stock off. Arsene, uh, very much so known for the increased range, but even more so that increased power, you know what I mean? Like, you just pack so much of a punch with Arsene. Yeah. Oh, and Ooh, okay. <laughs> Caught yeah. my man's air dodge into the ledge right there. Not gonna fly here. Ooh, right. gets the weight. Wow, okay, look at this. Yeah, he's definitely getting caught the air dodge oh. as well. Man, got big damage, no cutting him off. No jump. Oh, okay, the delayed recovery. Very nice from uh, Goblin, but also it might have just been aimed throwing that counter a little too early. Yeah, so yeah. either way, the jab back air is going to hit again, but all the way across the stage, obviously not going to take the stock yet. This time, oh, the tech! Oh, the platform is the savior Big here savior. for Big savior. Yeah, oh, man. And, dude, look at this value that he got from the Arsene. Not only did he get the first stock, but he got a good 80% off of it, and he's still surviving. We might see the run back with Arsene on the first stock. Yeah, man, this, this is... Oh, oh, oh. okay. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, Goblin got the tech flow. Never seen it before, but I like it. That was, yeah, a soft uh, hit of up air into the up tilt. Okay. And we're, we're coming up to the one-year anniversary for Ultimate, and I'm still seeing the new tech, so I'm still glad that all the players are still advancing the metagame, you know what yeah, I mean? Man. Like that, y you love to see it. Yeah, that's actually crazy. Wait, this is the one year, oh no, 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 it's coming, it's coming up, it's coming Yeah, it's coming up, it's coming up. It's very nice though that, you know, we're getting into one year uh, of Ultimate. We still got like, still got like a whole DLC package left. It's good times. Oh yeah. yeah. And so right now, Goblin still on the back foot here and Arsene hasn't even come out to play yet. And the thing is when you get to this high percent and Arsene comes out, you literally just get blown back by anything anywhere on the stage, right? It's yeah. just like, dang, I can't get hit by anything. The guns for the stall. Okay, neutral air. Goblin kind of burning up this Arsene. It hasn't really had playtime yet. Back here. Oh, Ooh. chase down. Not going to get anything off of that. Still looking for. Oh, the. Okay. Oh, he's alive, though. Wait, off the top? Yes, sir. I don't get to see that quite a bit. You know, the, the A got uh, taken off the top. But yeah, man, if you hit up too high up enough, yeah, you're definitely getting uh, exploded off there. So. Okay, hold on. Drag now doesn't get the re grab, but also short uh, Ooh, limbs whoa. somehow from Roy, not getting himself the old grab. The cross up here, and right now Goblin still can close it out. Roy, yeah, he can close it out. Roy Good definitely uh, can pack a punch. Okay, you can. I, I'm, I, all he really needs right now is like, yeah, a good jab back here from the right part of the step. Oh, he got the weak hit of jab though in the up air. Going to be strong, but not enough. Oh, okay, okay. He, he got the landing, and he yeah, caught yeah. out the gun too. Gun being. A very, very good option when you're yeah. landing. I mean, just you're shooting projectiles while you're landing. So yeah, man. not a lot of characters can do that. Yeah, I think Leo like put a, a hitbox of the, you know, like showed a hitbox visualizer of the guns, and it oh. does spread out quite wide. Uh, oh, yeah. And, like when you're going further down. So you got to get uh, pretty far around it, so that way you can attack it from the side. And uh, good stuff to Goblin by, you know, recognizing he was going to try to go for the down guns, getting way past it, and then getting that back here. Either way, though, aim not too far uh, behind, or not too far ahead, I will. Uh, we'll say he's really close to getting that arson as well, too. So, I mean, like, one more hit from... I say, yeah, one more hit from uh, Goblin will probably put him right into arson. That's going to make this game a lot scarier for him. Yeah, Goblin actually, you know, brought it pretty close to even, but AIM kind of taking a... really taking off this final stock. Here. Yeah. Full control, and like you said, the arson is still not even out to play yet. Looking, looking very similar to the second stock here where... You know, AIM just really gets a ton of damage on the Goblin, and it's just going to be like, well, you, you can die from side B, you can die from dash attack at this point. Damn, he's going to get he's gonna get Arson off time. Okay, oh. the double. Oh, he didn't roll back in. Okay, wait, wait a, a minute. There's some uh, momentum here on Goblin's. Oh! He, he tried it. it. Oh, he doesn't get the second hit of the Nair, but still, AIM is in the corner. Is there an escape? No, there's not. And Goblin with the fist bump, he closes it out 2-0 in the game that AIM had so much control in. Yeah, AIM was... Fully, fully in control of that game. And I mean, he got Arsene.